Okay, let's start. Yeah. So this is the power switch? Yeah, turn the power switch on. Okay. And that's actually illuminated. It's plugged in. We wait a half an hour for it to warm up. During that time, are you recording this? Yes, oh, I am. So, yeah. <laughs> so normally what we're going to use is we're going to have this switched into the output mode. The audio is turned off, otherwise it makes noise. We're going to set this up in the adjustment mode. And right, right now, what we've got set up right now is we have this transducer connected up to a stopcock, and that's only so we can open it up to air. And that's what I'm going to do right now. And this is on the pressure manometer that's reading zero millimeters of mercury and a syringe that's you know just partially partially filled. I mean, we can move this back and forth and nothing happens because it's open to atmosphere. Yeah, because this one is open, right? Yeah, this, this one is open to atmosphere. So the first thing we're going to do is let this system warm up mm -hmm. on zero. Okay. And after a little while, you're going to adjust this position control so that this these numbers, can you see those numbers in the, LC, in the LCD or you want me to? Right now it's zero point. Yeah. yeah, and we want to very carefully set that to zero, zero, zero. Okay. Now what this is actually reading is millimeters of mercury times 10. So that is actually, so you see that where it says 8.9, that's actually 8.9 millimeters of mercury, not 89. Okay. So I'm going to set this to as close to zero as possible. So this will read down to a tenth of a millimeter of mercury. So that's, I had it at <laughs> that zero before. So right there. So what are you trying to do? There, to okay, so there. that's zero, zero, one. That is 0 0.1 millimeters of mercury. Okay. That's where we are right now. Now, the thing is, is that I'm going to go through a couple of different things here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close this off. This is set to zero. This is set to zero. I'm going to close off the, close off the stopcock and just put an arbitrary pressure on here. And the arbitrary pressure in this particular case is 58 millimeters of mercury. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a screwdriver, either a screwdriver like this, which is we call a tweaker, or a screwdriver like this, and very carefully adjust this adjustment so that reads exactly 580. Okay. So this should be the 10 times of the reading. Yeah, and that's one. what we want to do. And okay. the reason for this is is that we get that tenth of a tenth of a millimeter resolution. Whether it's valid or not is another point. Um, and the thing is, so, so, so that's, that's set for 579 right now. Mm -hmm. And this is set for 580. Now, the, the next thing to do is that, and this is, and th these numbers need to be stable. And if they're not stable, then... So the, this one would be 10 times of whatever reading is. Yeah, it's going to be one. 10 times that value. Okay. Cool. Now, the, the upper limit here... Mm -hmm is that this can go up to 190 millimeters of mercury. So if your application goes above 190, then you might probably want to crank, turn this adjustment all the way down so this reads 5.7 instead of 570. Okay. So, th so that's, the li that's one of the limitations on this. I'm going to adjust that a little bit better. 569, 570. Now the next thing to do is we want to set the zero point again. Check it. I'm going to open this up. This goes to zero, this goes to zero. Well, it's, it says two. That's zero points. So I can adjust this. This is in the lock mode, so it's a very tight maneuver mm -hmm. on this. But yeah, this is really touchy to adjust these, these knobs. And maybe I shouldn't be doing that. But yeah, 14, 12, 11, 10, minus... Basically. Yeah, I'm back to two. Okay. okay, so now we'll verify this again. I'll close this up. Okay. And I'll just go hold the syringe now. I'm going to set this to something over 100. Okay, now I'm holding my hand very still. This is 136. This is 1352. Close enough. So I'm within plus or minus one millimeter of mercury for that. Mm -hmm. And if I let that go, this dropped to 70, and I'm reading 692. So, you know, these, the, these pressure manometers are extremely linear okay. Okay. as far as that goes. Now, if you were to be monitoring this on a data recorder, you would first, you know, unplug this, connect this up to a data recorder, record your, for your, your first point of calibration at zero, uh, then go in here, 
close this off, set a point, set the second point, and measure this voltage out in your data recorder as the second point of calibration and do the, uh, you know, move the cursors in the place and use the simple units for calibrating. Your calibration would now be stored in the data recorder and not here on the meter. You can read the meter. But, you know, if you were doing something like 400 beats per minute with a, with a mouse or a rat, this is just going to be a blur of, of numbers here. Okay. And you would normally be recording that and viewing systolic and diastolic pressure using this output connector in the output mode mm -hmm. to, the, to the data recorder. Okay. This averaging, people think this is MAP. This is not MAP. This is just a simple average. This thing was invented 40 years ago before MAP was dis determined. The plus peak and minus peak, they're supposedly work for systolic and diastolic. They're not recommended to be used anymore either. Mm -hmm. but, for, but for a simple operation for measuring pressure with a blood pressure transducer, now this, this is going to be disconnected, filled up with fluid, and you can use the syringe to fill up with fluid or use a different configuration. You know, like uh, normally this is what's set up with end caps whatever I did with them here. You know, and then this, and then a can, you'll, this would be like filled fill, fill with fluid, you'd flush the solution out, and this would be a cannula would be inserted on the end of this, and then inserted into the animal and, and, do, and do the direct pressure. You notice as I, since this is open, I move this back and forth and it's so not it's changing zero. the pressure at all. It's kind of zero. Yep. Yeah, the, the point, the whole point of, the, of this, of the pressure manometer is to do the simple calibration. So I'm, I'm I'm at 110 here, mm -hmm. 11 millimeters of mercury here. Yep. yep. And hopefully that's a good in, that's a good introduction to this. Okay. Cool. All right. To the BP1. All right. Thank you, Jim.